In this video, you'll see how to securely send tracing data to AWS X-Ray using a VPC endpoint powered by AWS Private Link. With this capability, you can enable communication between your Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, or Amazon VPC, and X-Ray without exposing that traffic to the public internet, allowing you to maintain regulatory compliance to strict security rules. AWS X-Ray collects trace data from your application to help you understand how the underlying services are performing. You can now use VPC endpoints powered by AWS Private Link to privately connect the Amazon VPC hosting your resources with X-Ray. For the purposes of this example, we'll be establishing a private connection between X-Ray and a demo VPC that's already set up. To get started, let's view the VPC's subnets. The VPC has six subnets, three public and three private. Let's look at the route table for one of the public subnets. As you can see, this subnet has a default route into an internet gateway. Next, let's look at a private subnet's route table. This subnet has no route to an internet gateway. Next, let's review our running Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or Amazon EC2, instances. We currently have one instance running on a public subnet, one on a private subnet, and one with no endpoint. Now that we've seen our environment, Let's return to the VPC Management Console and create an interface VPC endpoint. Note that you can also create VPC endpoints from the AWS CLI. To learn more about that option, please see the description and links for this video. Interface VPC endpoints are powered by AWS Private Link and use an Elastic Network Interface, or ENI, as an entry point for traffic destined to the service. When you create an endpoint, it is available only in the region you are operating in. Only TCP traffic with IPv4 is supported at this time. We'll select X-Ray as the service to support our endpoint. Next, we'll select the VPC we want to connect to X-Ray. An ENI will be created in each of our selected subnets. Specifying subnets in different availability zones is a best practice for increasing resiliency. We'll also retain the Enable DNS Name setting so that we can make requests to X-Ray using the default DNS hostname. Here, we can designate the security group that will be able to communicate with AWS X-Ray via the VPC endpoint. It's important that HTTPS traffic, or TCP traffic through port 443, is allowed by the group we choose. In this case, let's retain the default setting. By default, the endpoint will allow full access to all resources of the service, but you can attach a policy to control this. In this case, let's go ahead and create the endpoint. Now that we've created an endpoint, we can easily connect to the public EC2 instance. Let's review some of the effects that the endpoint we just created has had on X-Ray, in contrast to another service that currently does not have an endpoint. First, we'll try to resolve the DNS name of AWS X-Ray. Notice that the IP addresses displayed are all private. Let's resolve the DNS name of another service, AWS Monitoring. This service displays a public IP address, unlike with X-Ray. Next, let's try to trace the route to the X-Ray service. As you can see, the traffic goes over private hubs. Now let's do the same with AWS Monitoring. As you can see, the traffic goes over the public route. Next. Let's connect this public EC2 instance into our private EC2 instance. Now that we're connected to the private instance, let's try to ping Amazon.com. We can't because there's no route. Let's trace the route to see if we can connect to X-Ray. We can connect to X-Ray. Let's try the same with AWS Monitoring. The attempt to connect timed out since there's no connectivity to anything other than X-Ray from this instance. Next, let's make use of the endpoint we created and try adding a new group to X-Ray from this private instance. First, we'll navigate to the X-Ray web console to confirm that X-Ray currently contains only the default group. Let's go back to the API to add another group to this list. Let's go back and make sure this group has been added. As you can see, the group has been created and is visible in our region.
Now let's try uploading a trace segment document to AWS X-Ray. Let's check X-Ray to see if it received the trace segment we just sent. Here's the trace. Let's drill down. We can also see the trace on the service map. You've just seen how to securely send data to AWS X-Ray using a VPC endpoint powered by AWS Private Link. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.